if we don't have universal health care, then we will be betraying the Democratic Party's principles. And it's important that those who will caucus on January 3rd understand this difference. Senator Obama's plan does not and cannot cover all Americans. He's called his plan universal, then he called it virtually universal. But it is not either. And when it comes to truth and labeling, it simply flunks the test. He's been saying there's no difference between our plans, but his plan would leave at least 15 million Americans uninsured, including more than 100,000 people right here in Iowa. So why don't we just say, everybody against the wall, you don't get insurance. We're very sorry, but we're just not going to have a plan that covers you. Who's going to choose who doesn't get covered? Who's going to leave out 15 million people or 100,000 people in Iowa? That's more than half the population of Des Moines. That's a huge difference for those who get left out, like the daughter of the woman that I met from Greenville. And it's a huge difference to me to leave 15 million people virtually invisible, because that is what we would do. Well, when I am president, there will be no invisible Americans, and there will be no Americans without health care. That is one of my highest priorities. And I know it's going to be a tough fight.